TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are live. But by the time you see this, we won't be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK, man. And if you miss a live, man, hopefully anything that uh, is missed on a live is put on this channel behind us. So go sub up there. Uh, don't forget, we do got the Patreon. The Patreon honestly keeps this running, man. This whole dream, this whole movement of TLO and whatnot. So if you can, man, just go be the, a member. Even if uh, on the lowest tier, I don't do something. <laughs> uh, don't forget, we do got the Discord as well, man. All the links to this stuff is down below in the description. Let's get to this, man. I didn't even know this was existent, but somebody sent it to me in the Discord, I think. Andrew Tate, official trailer movie, 2023. Original creator is Michael Christian. This is from the Great Reset channel. Go ahead, leave me a little like or whatever. At the least, I'm going to be fully entertained by this. I will say this because I say it on every single podcast. If they lock me up for some insane bullshit, Tate has been arrested. I didn't do it. The, the Matrix has attacked, attacked me. If I carry on the trajectory I'm carrying on, they're going to put me in jail because I'm too influential. For the people watching at home, they just need to sit and understand that the system does not make rules for the good of you. It makes rules for the good of the people who make the rules. And a lot of the life paths laid out to the average man at home today is not for their own good. It's only gonna lead them to depression and misery. Do you think you're a force for good? I absolutely not really know I'm a force for good because I'm a force for truth. And truth is a good thing. Without truth, we're gonna end up in absolute tyranny and slavery and we're already on our way there. I think there's a whole swath of the puppy. You can't doubt what he said. If you a low key, the sh he be saying though, when he's not talking, about, when he's not trolling, the stuff he be saying is is. Population, especially young men that feel disenfranchised. I haven't put a magic spell on the world. The fact that people like what I say means that they agree with me deep inside. They may be afraid to say it themselves but I am seen as a bastion of free speech and a bastion for masculinity as a whole because a lot of men are largely forgotten about. There's no evidence in my file that that's nothing wrong. Everybody knows I'm innocent. This is a huge injustice. That we You're not lying though. A lot of men are, do be feeling forgotten. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like good, good fathers, good fathers. So it's a, when you're a good father to your kid, man, nobody gives you no applause. And as they, sh you shouldn't expect it because that's just something you're supposed to do. But, you know, that's a part of being a man that's forgotten. There's so many bums out here that ain't taking care of their kids. They just don't expect no man to. It's just, I don't know. The way we see it, they should not be detained at this point. There are not even charges filed against them. People are trying to set him up to look like he's something that he's not. I mean the best for people. I want everyone to be successful. I want the world to be a better place. And I think the world's a better place based on the back of strong men who stand up for what they believe in. I think that's how the world's always been a better place. The Matrix programming says the opposite. They're telling us that to be a better place, all the men need to be weaklings and compassionate without any morals or without any hard lines or beliefs. And they must talk in a very, very uh, soft way. And we need to be very, very compassionate and very, very tolerant and all these things. But if you look at history, the only times things were peaceful and nice is when strong men stood up with their swords and said, no, this is mine and this works this way. No one's gonna come fuck with it. I think that masculinity and strength is what makes things beautiful, is what preserves things, and it's what we need more of. It's what's missing from the world. When I knew I wanted to form an LLC, I did a bunch of online research. He not he don't be lying when he <laughs> hey he hey. It's just all the other stuff. Masculine men have a duty to provide and protect those they care about. We have a duty to do things we don't feel like doing because we know we're supposed to do them. And it's your duty as a man to stand up and say, I want to be as important and strong and good hearted and God fearing as possible. And I need to work hard to achieve those things. If you cannot control your own mind, then you are just a feather in the wind of life because your own mind is the only thing you can control. You can't control the weather. Right. You can't control other people. You can't even control whether your heart stops beating. You might have a heart attack tomorrow. You can't control anything besides what you think. 
There's no such thing as too much mass. Hey, they grabbed his best and most inspiring sound bits for this, and they went crazy on the edits. Look at this. Who, who edited this? Me? Golly. Masculinity is genuinely masculine. Genuine masculinity is not out here to hurt people. It's absolutely the opposite. It's out here to protect. And when bad things happen, they call traditionally masculine men. If you need a firefighter, you need a masculine man. When you call the police because of the problem you had, you want masculine men. And as soon as a woman or a man is in trouble, when you look for backup, you look for masculine men. And masculine men have a duty to provide and protect those they care about. We have a duty to do things we don't feel like doing because we know we're supposed to do them. And that's why we stayed in the Titanic and died. And the dangerous thing about overly emotional men is that they're dangerous. They're genuinely dangerous. This is what's crazy. All these people who talk about toxic masculinity and how bad it is for men to be traditionally masculine. A traditionally masculine man does things he doesn't feel like doing because it is his duty to do them. He charges into the burning building because it is his duty. Not because he feels like it because it is his duty we're now teaching the new generation of men that they don't have duty and they can just act on their feelings and act how they feel and they don't have to act as a man should do you know what happens when you get men who just act how they feel you get school shooters you get violence you get rape hey hey do i want to say i agree like <laughs> hey i'm telling you this month this got to be some of his best sound bits i don't think you can disagree to a lot of this in 2023, you do want to teach kids to be in touch with their emotions, but hey, listen, at the same time, if you're, if you're a man raising a, a boy, like, man up. <laughs> you know what happens when you get men who just act how they feel? You get school shooters, you get violence, you get racists. Men who do not control their emotions are dangerous. If you find a man who is stoic, he's not going to hurt people. That's why Chicago is so dangerous. No offense, I love Chicago, but it's a bunch of men who are raised by women who act on their emotions because that's all they've ever seen. That's why there's so many shootings in Chicago. They acting off pure emotion. He's gonna sit and think about his actions very carefully and he's gonna be a good man who protects for and provides for his family. You find a man who just acts out on impulse and does whatever he feels like, you're gonna find a dangerous man. Sitting here telling men to cry more and act with their feelings and it's okay to feel this way, that way, etc., and have no self-control. That is why we have the problems we have in the world. Absolutely not only wrong. So when they talk about toxic masculinity, they have it completely inversed on its head. Completely not only wrong. We need to be teaching stoicism. We need to be teaching young men to understand that the world is very, very difficult. It's hard to be a man. You're going to feel bad sometimes. You just suck it up and perform anyway. Not just sit there and cry your eyes out or blame other people. We live in a comfortable world now where people think, oh, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. But you know what? And I can, and I can tell you, man. I can tell you. I was one of them Chicago, because like going everything off emotion. Until I had my daughter, I knew I, I couldn't do that no more. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, yeah, I could be sad. Things cannot be going my way. I could be upset. I could be angry. But what, what I got to do? Who's going who's gonna to be there for my daughter? Nobody. Nobody but me. I got to suck all of that up. And I got to do what's necessary as a man, period. So, hey. To some degree, it does matter. It does matter, and I'm gonna tell you who it matters to. It matters to your soul, and it matters to God. I stand in the mirror with a pure heart. I know I am the best version of me that could possibly ever exist. I know that God is proud of me. There's nothing that God hates more than sloth and laziness. If God were to create a man, and that man were to sit around and do fuck all, God will frown upon you. It's why you're never lucky. If you're listening to this and you think I'm never lucky, I'll tell you why, because God dislikes you because you're fucking lazy. Start to work, start to show God the beauty of his own creations. You'd be amazed how lucky you'll become. Wow. God did create man in his image. God is not a lazy God. If you believe in things of that nature. God is unhappy with these people. And inside their hearts, they're unhappy. We talk about depression, anxiety. That comes from self-loathing. You loathe your own weakness. You loathe your own laziness. This is what all of these things are. I don't feel depression. How can I feel depression when I'm the most powerful version of me that I could ever fucking be? How can I feel depression when I could squeeze my own hand hard enough to break my own bones? How can I feel depression when I've smashed and destroyed 68 people's faces in front of me? Men who thought they could test me in fair combat. How can I feel depressed? It's impossible. Do you understand? I kind of agree. I gotta agree, kind of some of it, man. 
Depression, man, it's, it happens when you're sitting around feeling bad for yourself. I agree with that. I've, I've always thought that. When you get, when, when you just, I don't, like, when you just, when you just sitting around and you eating and you in the crib isolating yourself, all you got to do is think, all you have time to do is think about your failures instead of going out there correcting them, you know what I'm saying, editing yourself, editing your lifestyle, you know what I'm saying, it's doing things for you, you know what I'm saying. Hold on now, hold on. These are some of his best takes. I understand, understand. Um, you love me. Takes one of the most wonderful human beings I've ever met in my life. Mm. I hate everything that's going on. Like, love him with all my heart. Yeah. Like, I'll die on that mountain with you, bro. Yeah. Let's get on that hill. Where's the sword? Why is he the enemy of the state, so to speak? He's, He's going got on. the hearts of young men. Mm -hmm. He's got the hearts of young men. And that's a threat. Yeah. Absolutely. I feel like men nowadays need an Andrew Tate. He's a guy who's motivating men to be men. If you cannot control your own mind, then you go through life with zero control, zero influence. You can't control. That's the fact. You got to be in control of your own mind. That, that, now that. Control anything. You're just. He ain't the first person to say that. He's just doubling down on it. It's a feather in the wind, waiting for life to blow you from happy place to sad place to happy place to sad place. Completely hoping on the gods to be fortunate to you because if any genuine discomfort comes your way, you're fucked. Because everybody's fucked distracted. They're getting distracted by this, distracted by that, watching fucking Netflix jerking off the point of like fucking jackasses. It's so easy to win if you can control your own mind. But it seems that nobody fucking can. And that's how the people who run the world keep the world running. Because they have all the slaves exactly where they need them to be. Permanently distracted and semi-depressed. Working their asses off in jobs which will never satisfy them and never pay enough money. That's the matrix. Hey Andrew, how do I get like a six pack quick? What's the best, fastest way to get a six pack? Why does it have to be quick? Why does it have to be easy? Why do you think life is all quick and easy? Why can't it be hard and difficult? Why can't you suffer? Because suffering is what gives it value. If everyone had a six pack and it was quick and easy, then it wouldn't be valuable, would it? If everyone walked around with a six pack and they got it easily, then no one would give a shit. I remember this. I remember when he said this. I was like, boy, a six pack is one of the hardest things to get in, in the physique. Yeah. The whole point is that it's difficult to get. Value is linked to difficulty. If you want something that is valuable, you need something which is difficult to obtain. The fact that you just said you wanted it quick and easily shows that your whole mental moral is fucked. You shouldn't be thinking about quick and easy. You should be thinking about hard, suffering, pain, going through it. That's what you should be thinking about. This is going to be hard, but I'm going to do it anyway. Because when it is done, then everyone's going to know that I went through something difficult. Why do you want it to be quick and easy? You're Don't right. you understand it how it defeats the mind? It defeats the mind is broken. Your mind is broken. I say that. That's why when Bam Man Kevin got that BBL or that, that, that whatever he got, you know what I'm saying? No, 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 no judgment towards him. With a lot of people ain't appreciated. They was like, oh, that's the easy way out. Oh, da, 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 quick and easy. Life as a man is exceptionally difficult. I say the most beautiful and the most terrifying thing about being a man is you're born without value. Society doesn't care about you. You're only going to be cared about based on how useful you are. You have the chance to build yourself up and become a superhero if you're prepared to do the hard work and be indefatigable enough to never quit. But if you're going to stand around and wait for a handout, nobody's going to ever respect you. I think that the world's never going to think you're important unless you make yourself important. I think you get to decide what character you want to be in this movie, which is your life. You can decide if you want to be a comedian or a musician right. or a fighter or you get to decide what you want to be and if you work hard enough you can become it it's the denial that's going to hold you back the most the people who go yes i'm wasting my potential those are the ones who have potential the ones who stand up and go i am wasting my potential i could be anything and i am not that yet they have a chance this stream actually like you said how long did i think that this had to man this had to take at least like i say like five days, eight hours a day to edit all of this. Maybe, maybe six days, eight hours. Like I'm pretty sure it changed like lives, I swear to God. Like you changed lives just now. I hope so. I ain't gonna lie, that, that, 
you can hate Andrew Tate all you want, but if you watch that, it was hard to disagree with a lot of the shit he was saying. Don't shoot the messenger, man. I'm just saying, man. Taylor, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your post notification bells, man. Get control of your mind. Because anything is possible.